Hey, welcome to our video. My name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection lawyer in Alabama. And while we don't really do bankruptcies, uh, we are asked a lot of questions about them. And so I want to give you just this very simple overview of what is the difference between a Chapter 7 bankruptcy and a Chapter 13 bankruptcy? So those are the official names of them. You have Chapter 7, Chapter 13, Chapter 7, sometimes called a straight bankruptcy. You sort of wipe out your debts, except there are some that you can't wipe out. And then Chapter 13 over here is sometimes called debtor's court. And the idea with the Chapter 13 is you're making payments into court. You can think of it almost like a reorganization of your debts. You have businesses will file bankruptcy to reorganize their debts. That's kind of what a 13 is, is you're putting your debts together. And then the court says, all right, well, let's come up with a plan. Usually it's over five years. How are we going to pay these debts? What do we do with interest rates? Do we pay 100 cents on the dollar? Can we reduce that? What are we doing with these debts? And there's all different, all these uh, differences between secured debt and unsecured debt. And, and there's a plan that's put forward. But just conceptually, the idea is you go into bankruptcy, you get that protection of bankruptcy, and then you're making these payments over usually five years. Well, Chapter 7 bankruptcy, on the other hand, is you also seek that protection of bankruptcy court, and then you pretty quickly have what's called a meeting of the creditors, or a 341 meeting. And that's where, and it's usually not the bankruptcy judge, it's the trustee who works for the bankruptcy court, and they meet with you and say, okay, let's look at all your debt out there, let's look at your assets, and can you qualify for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy? where all of your debt is wiped out or discharged. Now, certain types of debts are not dischargeable, and you might wipe out a secured debt like a mortgage or a car loan, but that doesn't mean you get it for free. They can come grab your house or come grab your car. So again, the idea of Chapter 7 is it's pretty quick, depending on where you file it. It may be you file it, and then like three months later, you're out of court, you're discharged from your debt. Chapter 13, you're looking at more like five years and making payments into court every month. So obviously a lot more detail, uh, but that gives you hopefully a nice little overview of the difference between Chapter 7 and a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. So thanks for watching this video and talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.